Hey guys, Monochrome here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Genuinely good to have you. Today, a first for my channel, we're going to take a look at a tactical pen and a really good one. Now, for some of you wondering why I've never done a video before on tactical pens, it's not because I don't like them. It's not because I think they're gimmicky. Although, I've seen some designs that definitely are. I actually have a pretty extensive personal collection of tactical pens. And unfortunately, a significant number of them just did not work out for a number of reasons. The one you're looking at now, not one of those. This is a long-term personal EDC item of mine. This is the Nightcore NTP-21. Now, this particular tactical pen is available in a couple of different variations. Same basic design, though. Personally, I prefer the basic black because it's not something that people will notice. You pull this out in an office setting. You pull this out out in public to jot down a quick note. No one is going to look twice at you or the pen. It's just a basic black pen, common as dirt. It's basically the gray men of pens. And that's a good thing. You want your tactical pen to not be something that's flashy, loud, or obnoxious. And there are some designs out there which seem to be more designed to get people's attention than to be used as a defensive tool if the need should arise. So let's take a closer look at this excellent tactical pen. First of all, it's a great EDC pen. It is. It is a great full-size EDC pen. I've obviously used it a hell of a lot more for that than I have against a violent attacker's face. So let's start at this end. That is a carbide tip. That is absolutely excellent for smashing through car windows in an emergency. Now, obviously, if you're rescuing someone else trapped in a car and you have to use your tactical pen to smash through their side window, if you have a chance to put on a pair of heavy gloves before using it, best to do that. But yeah, this is a carbide tip, very effective for smashing through side car windows, very effective smashing into an attacker's face. Going up, this is where the pen unscrews. And this particular pen takes Parker style refills. Now the one I have in my pen is a Franklin Covey Parker style refill. I do like Parker pens. I do like their refills. Their ballpoint pen refills in particular are excellent, but they are outrageously expensive. They are currently nearly $10 for one Parker ballpoint pen refill. Or you can go to Staples, pay literally half as much, and get yourself a Franklin Covey, which has an excellent ink formula. The refill inside my pen has never leaked. It is never streaked. 
when I write with it, I get black ink, not very light gray ink across the page. So why pay almost $10 for a Parker refill, which is outrageous for any ballpoint pen refill, when you can pay half the price for a refill that will fit in your pen and is literally just as good. So there you go. Going up, we get to a set of grooves. Now these grooves are functional. This is not a one piece pen. The cap does come off and you thread it onto this end when you're using it as a pen. So these, well, I guess that means these aren't actually grooves, although they look like grooves. Those are threads for the cap to thread onto. And you do get a silicone O-ring here, which helps keep the cap in place. Now further up is the body of the pen. This has horizontal grooves and almost cutouts in the body of the pen. Now this is excellent for getting a good solid grip when you're using your tactical pen as a hammer fist enhancer. Hitting a violent attacker with the bottom of your fist and you got this protruding out from the bottom of your fist, hammer fist enhancer, this is going to be a heck of a lot more effective than just hitting a violent attacker with the bottom of your fist. And that is the right way to use a tactical pen as a hammer fist enhancer. If you see anyone advocating using it in a different method or a different way to grip it, uh, no. They have no damn clue what they're talking about. Don't even waste your time listening to advice from those types of individuals. The only proper way to use a tactical pen is as a hammer fist enhancer. Going up, we see the, the cap itself and the clip. Now this clip looks thin, it looks flimsy. Actually, this clip is very secure and quite good. As you can see, there's no gap where the clip meets the body of the pen. That's important. There's no gap. This clip is not very super tight, but it is tight enough that you won't have to worry about this falling out of your pocket. So let's take the cap off. Here's the other side. We have another silicone O-ring, more threads, and this is where you grip the pen. Now what I like about this is that it's a great pen, not just a tactical pen, because the tip of the refill comes out quite a bit. So that means when you're writing with this pen, you're not writing blind. You can actually see the tip make contact with the paper. On a lot of pens, whether they're tactical or regular pens, you're writing blind because as you're writing, you literally can't see the tip of the pen making contact with the paper, which for me and for a lot of other people is just freaking aggravating. But just to demonstrate, yes, this will thread on to the other end, and you can use this for writing. Now let's take a look at the cap itself. You do have cutouts in the aluminum cap, and the body of the pen is made from aluminum as well, at least this variation is. Now that's not there to reduce weight, that's just a stylish design cue. That's all it is. Still, it looks nice. Now moving to the top, 
you don't have any protrusion on the top and that's important on a tactical pen because you want to be able to cap that pen with your thumb. Capping a pen with your thumb, you just saw it right there. This really helps get a good solid grip if someone grabs you and you need to fend them off. Now with a tactical pen, you're obviously not going to be standing there exchanging blows with a mugger or an attacker. Obviously, you're not going to be doing that. The best way to use a tactical pen, if someone grabs you as you're walking towards your car in a darkened parking lot, obviously you have your EDC flashlight in your other hand or even your tactical light in your other hand and if some attacker forcibly grabs you well you give them a couple of shots of this in the face with your pen and then you disengage disengage usually means take off running and get away or if you notice, hey, this guy actually has a weapon in his other hand. Disengage means get back several feet, pull out your concealed carry firearm, and tell him to drop his weapon. Now, as you can see, there is no protrusion here. You do get the, if my camera will focus, the Nightcore name across the top of the cap. Mm -hmm. Now there is a very slightly raised, very slightly scalloped ring on the top of the cap. Now I don't count that as a protrusion because it's not painful. It doesn't get in the way if you have to use it as a self-defense tool. But there is a very slightly raised ring. I will say also that Phoenix makes, well, Phoenix Flashlights makes a very similar model. Only a couple of variations. The silicone O-rings are replaced with black rubber ones. The body is narrower especially towards the middle and there's no ever so slightly scalloped ring on top of the cap. Other than that it's basically the very same pen. Now as usual guys specs in the description box below and again there are a couple of variations of the Nightcore tactical pen. I prefer basic black because it's going to go completely unnoticed. Overall, an excellent pen. I have had one issue though. I normally carry mine in the back pocket of my cargo pants and there have been a couple of times when I've reached for this pen and the cap had unthreaded itself just a tiny bit. It was just the tiniest bit loose. So every now and then I do check my back pocket and if this is a bit loose, I tighten it down. There aren't a lot of threads. That's the thing. There aren't too many threads on either end of the pen. So you do have to watch out for that. But other than that one particular issue, which I consider a minor one, because you really should check your self-defense tools if you're going to EDC them. You should check them on a regular basis. So very minor issue, highly recommended. And yeah, I will be doing future videos on other tactical pens in my collection, but out of all of them, this is the one I recommend most. 
All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Please continue to stay safe.